Hey everybody, this is Mark from the Geek Church, and today we got some more Caseify products. Are you surprised? I'm not. So today we've got not one, not two, not three, not four, or not four, uh, not five, but, uh, okay, wait a second, we got five. Uh, we're gonna open them up and try them out right after this. Okay, looks like I spoke a little soon as far as counting the actual number of case defy products. I think I mentioned as a joke that perhaps I want to get this to be the case defy channel because they keep sending me some stuff. Seems like every time they send me stuff and then I go ahead and review it uh, because I kind of want to get it out of the way so you're going to review something else. Uh, something else comes in the mail. So hey, I guess this is uh, this time today. I'm going to put these to the side even though some of you are really excited about this one. I know who you are. Actually, I don't, but uh, yeah, at least I know what that is. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with these guys. Uh, we're essentially a uh, power through USB-C to USB-C cable. Then I've got the power through 67 watt fast charger. So let's open them up. Now some say the thing about uh, unboxing is it's very exciting because you never really know what to expect. I'd be highly surprised if I got something different from this, uh, other than say the a description of the reinforced construction on this particular cable. So yeah, so how is it? Uh, it's definitely nice. It feels very um, kind of twine-like, uh, which I like. So uh, there's not really much I can do. And if I really want to show a good demonstration of it, I think I'd want something that would say, uh, plug it in the wall, but where am I going to find something like that? Aha! There it is. Okay, so before you're asking, what makes this such a fast charger? I don't know. 67 watts worth? Uh, oh, hey, I like this. That's an interesting little uh, setup here. Uh, so let's just take it out if we can. Yeah, we can. All right. And hey, I got. I love uh, anything that's got retractable plugs is always worth something in my book. I can tell you that much. So uh, not much to see here. Just two USB-C ports. Oh, that's funny. Uh, they're marked slightly differently. I wonder what is the difference between them. Uh, I don't really see any point here. I might have to use um, some kind of... Uh... Okay, it looks like one of them is marked for phones and one of them is marked for laptops. Uh, I'm going to say that that is uh, pretty much the difference here. I don't know what would happen if you plug the one marked for laptops in the top. I don't really have a laptop that runs on USB-C. However, I see no reason why I can't try this out. I just happen to have a spare outlet in the wall and I happen to have a spare USB-C um, phone. So I basically, I guess the question is, can we just plug it in and get it to work? And the answer is a resounding heck yeah, because I'm going to do this and because I'm so confident in Casetify, I have the answer right here. Charges right away. Okay. So I don't know how long that'll take to charge versus it. Okay. Okay. Uh, as a standard here, I like to put this um, usually. You know when you plug in your phone, sometimes it says such and such time until full. This one is about 24%, so we're looking at one quarter power. And it says I've got one hour and 21 minutes until this is full. And this is with this attached to this. So that is that, I suppose we shall say. And that's pretty good, isn't it? I'd say it is. Okay, so the real question is, what are the prices? Well, I just looked this up now, this USB-C to USB-C cable, and I've got a price uh, listed at about $22. That's marked down from $28, so that's pretty good, I'd say. Um, usually a USB-C uh, cable, um, actually, I think you could probably pick one up for a very low price at like your local Walmart, but I can't guarantee about how fast that would be as far as charging is concerned. Uh, this guy, uh, he's going to set you back about, uh, let's see, uh, $72. So yeah, you can get that for about $72 at the Case Defy site right now. Okay, so that is one out of three of the reviews I could have done. Hmm, I could actually could have done this in three videos. You know what, I'm kind of glad I didn't. But the TikTok ones will be done a little bit faster like this. Okay, the next ones we have here are these wireless car chargers that are MagSafe compatible. And we have two types here. Uh, we have this blue gemstone, and then we have this one called a biscuit. And some of you might go, be going like, that doesn't look like a biscuit at all. 
Like, I went to McDonald's the other day and I had a biscuit with egg, and that doesn't look like the biscuit they put on it. I'll explain here. But most of you guys, at least those that are on the other side of the pond, so to speak, know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, as you might have suspected, sometimes uh, you need a little uh, charging in the car. That's where these come in. Now these guys are essentially, uh, ooh, do they come out easily with the box? This is an unboxing after all. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, geez, they're a little complicated, but uh, I'm gonna get it out here, I think. Uh, boy, that is really in there. Uh, they really put packaging on there really well. Okay, so we got it here, and as you can see, it is a kind of cool thing here. I've got, um, okay, I, I better be closer to the camera. Uh, okay. So we got this guy here, and then he hooks, and he's made to hook onto like uh, an air vent or something like that. I've actually done reviews of products very similar to that. I think I did one from iAudi or something like that. And then you uh, lock it on there. Oh, actually this is very um, manipulatable, I think is the correct word. And if you want, you could put it in portrait or landscape. But you know what? I need a better demonstration on this. Uh, something tells me I want to move into another zone here, and that zone is, I'm going to check out, uh, an actual charging on it. Okay, I forgot to mention this comes with a USB-C cable, and I want to see what type of USB-C cable we're looking at. Okay, so it's a USB-C to USB-C. Um, something like, I, hey, we just reviewed one of those. Very similar to it, but uh, for the sake of, I'm just going to try it with uh, something like this. And um, yeah, we're just gonna attach it uh, down here. And then uh, this should be charging our, uh, anything I put on there. Now, um, this is not a MagSafe compatible phone. And this is um, on my Samsung. Does it stick? Yes, it does. Does it stick well? Well, no. If I were to shake this off, yeah, it would fall right off and I really don't wanna do that. But as you can see there, it is charging uh, right from there. So any phone that's Qi enabled, uh, it's pretty good. Now a lot of these things they come with like a little like a uh, metal ring so you can just stick it on there So if your phone isn't MagSafe, you just whack, and then uh, that provides the contact and that will stay on there I don't really see anything like that in here and I'm checking the box out pretty thoroughly. So Yeah, but uh, you know, I've got a better demonstration here with a ah, Remember this? This is the UAG um, case that we reviewed the other day, and I want to show you how that works on there. That'll stick on really well. So if this was an iPhone, that's how that would stick. Now, this is what I want to demonstrate. See how easy that is to turn like that? Very easy. So if you wanted, like, I don't know, if you're in your car, you're looking at a maps program, you want to turn it the other direction, um, or say you're, uh, okay, maybe that's a bad example. You shouldn't be watching TV in your car, but <laughs> if you've got your phone that's in, uh, landscape mode. Uh, I can't really think of the reason. Honestly, every time I'm in my car, I usually use my phone in uh, portrait mode, uh, like when I'm using the maps program or something like that. That's really the only time I use the phone in my car, at least when I'm driving, uh, that's for sure. So yeah, that's the blue gemstone. Um, let's see. You know, uh, let's, I mean, this, it's about the same price as this. I am going to open this just so you can check it out, but most of the as far as I'm concerned, all the features are the same, but I could be wrong, and I'm going to check it out. Okay, so this is called the biscuit, and as I said, your friends over beyond the pond, or across the pond? <laughs> beyond the pond, that's funny. I think that's a Frogger sequel. Um, should know why. Uh, I think in Britain, I think cookies are called biscuits. Um, and usually that refers to a certain type of cookie, uh, one that's usually very uh, thin. Although, I don't know. So would an Oreo be a biscuit? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of uh, how that works. At least I think that's how that works. And I, shoot, I really don't know, honestly. Anyway, so here we go. A biscuit, see? It's a biscuit. Anyway, um, should I even bother plugging it in to see if it works? Well, I suppose I could. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, we're just, we're here, we might as well, yeah, sticks on there, not quite uh, good, but the other one should stick on just fine, thanks to the power of MagSafe. Okay, so I said that these things are about the same price, and by these things I mean these things, 
and they are about $78 on the Caseify site. If you want, you can get in on that. And for those that are use their car behind the wheel, you know who you are, and hey, you might want some of that. Especially if you're an Uber driver. I didn't realize that this thing could really come in handy for there. And if you're an Uber driver in Britain, this is really going to be awesome. And here's our last item for the day. The Jujutsu Kaisen uh, logo powered through two-in-one charging stand. Now, this is actually the third time I've talked about a Jujutsu Kaisen product here on this Caseify thing. And you might think, wow, you must be a huge Jujutsu Kaisen fan. And the answer is, nah, not really, but, you know, one of my kids is, and so I basically just uh, kind of get that because uh, you know, they like it. Anyway, so uh, let's open it up, try it out. Okay, so basically, now, um, funny thing, if you've seen my work on TikTok, you might have actually been seeing ads for this. I've been seeing a lot of TikTok ads for this particular charger, and it's very simple. Ta-da! There it is. Uh, you can see how it works here. And um, well, what, what else is in the box? Is this there anything? Okay, this thing is adjustable, but um, yeah, essentially it's a stand for your desk. And hey, we all kind of need something like this, and we all kind of want something like this. So here it is. Case Defy rules again. So what do we have here? Uh, there's a thing here that I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, it's very heavy though. It feels like the charging cord maybe? Uh, I'm gonna have to determine this. And yep, it's the charging cord. White, white baby. So, uh, is there anything else in here that's in your interest? No, it's just the rest of the packaging. So, um, now yeah, you know me. I'm always just up to uh, hooking up some stuff, seeing if it works. So, let's just hook it up. And um, yeah, okay, we got this uh, working here. So I'm gonna use uh, this phone that we've talked about before. Okay, it's definitely, uh, well, I heard the noise of starting to charge here, just in case I'll take a look at it. Yep, yeah, it is. Uh, but I can also use this thing down here. That uh, works too. So this is a two-in-one for that reason. So if I happen to have another phone, stick it up there. Not bad, not bad at all. And, uh, hmm, let me think here. Okay, it does have the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, logo there. Uh, I think that Caseify makes a lot of these things and a lot of variations uh, with a lot of different logos on them. So I think it's kind of up to you as far as what your taste is concerned. And that really puts uh, Caseify in a particular class of accessories because they will make a lot of stuff with uh, their particular brand name on it. Hmm. Anyway. Does this bring our case fire review to a close? Well, not really, because I haven't really said to state the price. This particular guy is about 120, or I'm sorry, $102. It's on the case to fire site right now, and you can get it there, and it's pretty darn awesome. So yeah, so does this uh, conclude our case to fire review? I don't think so. Something tells me they'll probably send me some more stuff. And if they do, hey, we'll cover it, because that's what we do here in the Geek Church or the Case Defy channel. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you should try that one out first. Anyway, this has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and I'm signing off.